Well, we're back. AV Whiffley is back with a 2020 Tawny Classic covering the Pool Valley, second part of the Pool Valley. And right now, we're jumping in with Paul Sox versus one in the chamber. Here are your starting lineups with aces, Nick Maestas, and Jordan Snook on the mound for each team. We jump into the first here. Thomas sends one to right, but he hustles it out for a single. He is hyped. Nick uses his screwball with precision to get Kenning looking and a riser to take out Stinson. We head to the bottom of the first, snook on the mound, and he goes up and down on Maestas. Jake Gebb cannot handle that pitch. We head to the top of the second. Jordan doesn't know what to do with himself. Kenning up. He takes the low strike for the out. Bottom of the second here, Thomas on the mound. Strikes out Will Swain. Jordan Snook back out there. Ooh, and a screwball on the top left to get the out. Top of the third, Geb throws a drop ball with some speed to get the out. Ooh, ooh, that looks tough. Matthew Kenning takes one to the noggin. What a trooper, he stays in there. Gets himself a walk. Base is jacked. And, oh no, Geb could not find the zone. That's the first run for one in the chamber. Maybe the only. And Maestas comes in to close it out with two strikeouts. Unbelievable. We head to the bottom of the third. Jordan Snook, once again with that screwball, bottom left, gets Geb looking. And Thomas comes in with a high drop to get the second out, and we head to the top of the fourth. Oh, Snook looking again, with Geb on the mound. Oof, hard pitch to hit, with Stinney looking. And Thomas takes that screw ball up top for the out three. Jordan Snook back on the mound, but Maestas puts one in play. Thomas gets there for the half fly out. One out, Jordan Snook. Screwball once again hitting that right side. And he hits Swain. It's bottom of the fourth here. One on. Oh man, the crowd's hyped. Walks are needed. And there it is. There's a walk. Have you ever seen a walk so exciting as this one? These guys are going nuts for walks. And Maestas up. He's a hitter. He puts one in play. Jordan can't handle it. Base is jacked. Two outs. They just need one run to tie it up. A home run, demolishes for the win. Walk off is imminent. Oh, and Geb swings at a high pitch. Game over, one in the chamber, 1-0. What a game, what a win. Paw Sox, 0-2. Their chances for making the playoffs are looking slim. What a duel, pitching duel. Maestas and Jordan painting the corners as we head into the next game. NorCal Naturals versus Joey, and we have Jack Snook, ace for NorCal Naturals, and the two-headed Lonnie and Joey for Joey team. Jack hitting that outside. Top left again, my goodness, his pitching is magnificent. Lonnie Solomon getting that low riser, getting the out. Anderson up, Lonnie goes back to his riser, gets the third out, we head to the second. Ando goes over Sweeney's head for the strikeout. What a pitch, what a pitch. Jack Snook going outside, back in, and gets the out. And another great pitch by Jack to strike out Joey as we head to the bottom of the second. Lonnie pitching, Jack rips one down left field. He's running the first, he gets there. Everyone's safe, first and second. Oh no, base is loaded, one out and a walk. There's a run there, and another walk, and another. My goodness, Lonnie is struggling to find the zone, but he is staying in there, oof. And at that point, he's gotta come out. Joey comes in, one out, and he can't find it either. 5-0, NorCal Naturals. And another pitch by Joey, but he finds it this time. Going back to his, his riser to get the second out. Another pinch zone, and Jack couldn't, couldn't hold off. We head to the top of the third. Oh, Ando is struggling. Jack has to come in with bases loaded. And he does what he does. Gets that first out. Back out there. 
Oh, again, jam, Sweeney. Two outs. Ando's got to make something happen. Oh, there's a walk. And there comes in one run. 5 1. Lonnie's up. A floater. And Lonnie connects. And that is deep. That is gone. Grand slam. Lonnie Solomon. He is connecting. I mean, it's easy to connect when you get those lobs, but Ando has no choice. He couldn't find the zone. And Lonnie just connects to give a tie to Joey. And we head to the bottom of the third. Sugden puts one in play to load the bases. Another jam for Joey. One out. What can he do? Oof. There goes another run. 6-5. They got back the lead. And a swing and a miss by Murphy. Two outs. My goodness. Can he fend them off? Only one run allowed. No, he can't. Sugden holds. 7-5. Joey back out there, but he gets snook this time. Limits the damage to two runs as we head to the fourth. We'll count that to Rouse. Jack on the mound, top right, painting, one out. Josh has to stay in there. He has to get some outs. Base is loaded. He walks Sweeney. My goodness, this is a tough position to be in. Again, he can't find anything. 7-7. Seven, seven. He goes to the lob again. Oh, my goodness. And Lonnie does not disappoint. He connects on the easy lob. Grand slam once again. Two grand slams for Lonnie Solomon. Deep and gone. My goodness. Ando has to figure out something because they're going to need to come back in the bottom. And he can't let any more runs. He's got to limit the damage from here on out. Joey puts one out to left. Jack's under it. Oh, he can't handle it. An error by Jack. And another error. He tries to peg him from deep. What a stupid mistake. And Joey just says, screw it. I'm going all the way. And he goes. He dives. He jumps. What a leap. He jumps over the ball. Touches home. They got a five-run lead. Oh, my goodness. What a play by Joey. And Ando finally gets two more outs as we head to the bottom of the fourth. Last chance for the workout. Watching this right now. Team Joey, you throw your own three. Just wait. Oh, Lonnie with a message to the crowd to the people, but oh my goodness, can he respond with that statement? I don't know, we got bases loaded. Oh, and Joey, pounding in the riser. John supporting like a great teammate should. My goodness, one out, bases jacked. Oh, that's high, oh no, there's a run there. But Joey coming in with the second out. It all comes down to this, home run ties it. What's he gonna do? Sucking and swings at the high pitch, game over. Joey gets the win. 2-0, Joey, 12-8. My goodness, super underrated team right here. As we head to the final game, but no matter what with this game, Joey's team is moving on and Paw Sox is out of it. So they're just screwing around here. Jake Gebb just hits one out to the left, a little liner, home run, something casual. They're just lobbing in there, putting in their third and fourth string pitchers. Swain puts one out there, and Derek Nasser makes a great peg from the distance. Getting out. One out. Maestas lines one to center. But it doesn't really matter here. He's just being a little aggressive. Lonnie pegs him out there. This game is pretty much nonsense. You don't really... I'm just throwing a bit of these highlights here to, to just show that we still, we still tried our best to execute this game, but... There was no no reason to really, as Lonnie just miss outruns the peg, outruns second, outruns third, and he's going home. And Geb just little nice little peg there. He thought he missed him, but he nicked him. So we have two outs here, and John took the shirt off. So you know, game's over. There's no there's there's nothing to see here now, as we got John just popping one out to center. There's no re real reason to be watching this game. So we're gonna cut it here. And we're going to give the Paw Sox the win just because, you know, they didn't get any. And we wanted to give them a little 2-0 win here. So we gave them that. And after all that, we have the standings here. Joey takes the number one seed, one in the chamber two, NorCal three, Paw Sox eliminated. And here's the playoff bracket in the Tawny Classic. And I want to thank you all for watching these highlights. And please like and subscribe. And uh, turn on that notification bell. We want you all to be paying attention to this great game of wiffle ball. Appreciate you.